Right now, though, I want to welcome to Cam and Company, Mr. Chris Irwin with the gun store in Las Vegas, Nevada. Chris, how you doing, sir? I am good, Cam. How are you? I'm excellent. I am so sorry I didn't get to see you when we were out there for a shot show, but next year uh, yeah. I want to I want to see you. Yeah. It, and listen, I got to ask you because you know this is a uh, this is a big story here. Uh, UFC is basically uh, they're not going to be allowing uh, sponsors dealing with ammunition, dealing with firearms, knives, hunting. Uh, I know that you are a big fan of UFC and the uh, mixed martial arts. You've got a lot of guys who come into your store. What's what's going on with this, Chris? You know, my first notice of it was about two weeks ago. I received a text message from a fight manager. I was going to be sponsoring Evan Dunham, who's fighting tomorrow night. And Evan is a good friend of mine. I know his family. I've been to his wedding and so forth. And I got a text from his manager saying, you can't sponsor Evan. Your logo was not approved by Fox. They don't want guns. Or or something similar to that effect. Right. Now, I had experienced that before when I tried to sponsor a fighter in Strike Force a long time ago. They said Showtime didn't want firearms on their fight on the fighters and whatever. And I said, okay, that's fine. No big deal. Next thing I know, about three days later, I start getting all kinds of Twitters and emails from people saying that this ban is coming from Fox and it's across the board that fighters can no longer be sponsored by anything pertaining to firearms, hunting, ammunition, uh, just exactly what you just elaborated to. And I had fighters calling me directly that I sponsored going, hey, what, what's going on, man? And, you know, and that's all I know. As of this moment, I still, I have not been directly contacted from anybody at the UFC. And I just keep getting Twitters and Facebooks and phone calls and <laughs> emails. And that's all I know. And so it appears to be true that, you know, for whatever reason right now, Fox doesn't want that kind of representation on the fighters when the fights are on the Fox network, and I believe FX also. Interesting. Now, is this something that uh, fans of UFC are, are reacting to? Very much so. I, I have received so much support this week. It is just uh, I've been blown away by it because, I mean, with all due respect, I'm not – you know, I'm not greatly affected by it from a financial aspect. I, I've been in the UFC as far as sponsorship goes for, you know, three years now. Everybody's, you know, pretty familiar with the gun store. And as you said, a lot of the fighters come into my store, even fighters I don't sponsor. They come in before their fights. They come in after their fights. They come in with their families, you know. But the ones who are really affected by this are the fighters that are not at the pinnacle of this fight world. You mm-hmm. know, if, if you're not a George St. Pierre or a... Brock Lesnar or, or, or someone up there of that caliber, you really need these sponsorships. I mean, I know these guys, and I know what they rely on, and, and this is their bread and butter. And it, it, for some of these guys, it's going to really affect them, I think, you know, from what I know. Right. Well, I mean, look, you know, if you've been told that not just a category of sponsorships that have been available, but – but frankly, a category of sponsorships where there has been, uh, you know, a number of relationships that have been built up over the years, all of a sudden th- those uh, sponsorships are gone. Uh, yeah. it-, it is going to take some time, I think, to, uh, you know, to-, to-, to replace those sponsorships. And uh, as you say, you know, guys who are not uh, necessarily, you know, top tier fighters, uh, but who are sort of the journeymen, uh, they are going to be impacted by this. But, you know, I think... And I, I'd like to think that the industry is not going to be impacted uh, by this. But, you know, look, clearly there was uh, the, the, the industry, I, I think, understood and realized that uh, there's a great deal of crossover. Fans of UFC, uh, in many cases, are hunters. They, they are gun owners. Uh, and they don't very ha- true. You know, and, and so this to me is a, it's, it's a, it's a very alienating move, uh, almost saying, we're, we're, you know, we don't want these companies, well, maybe they don't want these fans, too. Well, you know, the, the Second Amendment is, is one of our rights. And I personally know some UFC fighters who are avid firearm people. And they are proud. I mean, they want my logo on their shorts. They want my logo on their banner. I mean, yes, there's been some who do it just because they need the money. And they know I sponsor fighters. And they, you know, but, but some of these guys are true, you know, firearm, excuse me, fanatics. Mm-hmm. And they shop in my store and... 
you know, a couple of them I've joked with, when they retire, I'm going to probably end up hiring them as employees. And it means a lot to these guys. And also what you just alluded to, like I talked to Matt Hughes at the SHOT Show before. And, yeah, these UFC fighters, some of them come to the SHOT Show and do signings. Because right. they, love fi- they love firearms. They love the industry. Some of these guys know way more about firearms than I do. <laughs> and I had a UFC fighter, Brandon Vera, talk to me a few months ago about some rifles. And I had to, like, research what he was asking me because I couldn't keep up with it all. <laughs> but, uh yeah, you know, some of the fighters really have taken it personally, Cam, and I've I've had a couple of them text me and say, you know, if you need anything, if I, you can't sponsor me, we're going to find a way to do something, meaning, like, they don't want my money or anything, they just want to stay connected with me. Right. So, uh, and I appreciate that. It, it it's, it's, it's just weird, Cam. You know, it's a weird situation. I understand completely what the UFC is trying to do. They're, they're going global. They've got shows coming up in Japan and Australia and, and so forth, and they're they're growing as a company. They're trying to grow, and that should be their goal. And, I, I, you know, getting involved with certain networks is, is a huge stepping stone for them, but I guess, unfortunately, it's going to result in some limitations on the viewership side. And, I, you know, I, I think to a certain degree the UFC's hands are kind of tied. I, I think they made this deal... And it was a, a phenomenal, huge deal for them. And now we're looking at some of the after effects, and everybody's kind of going, oh, whoops, oh, I didn't know about that. You know, yeah. why, Fo- why Fox would care about my logo? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, it's not like you don't see any TV shows on Fox with firearms or violence. <laughs> well, I mean, considering we're, yeah, I, I, I know. But, you know, I got to tell you, Chris, I will wear your logo on my shorts any day of the week. Now, what kind of shorts are we talking about, Cam? You know what? I'll make that just a blanket statement. I mean, it could be Bermuda, <laughs> under, whatever. I'm, I'm happy to do it, Chris. Cam, I'd be honored for you to wear my logo. I wear the NRA <laughs> one, so why shouldn't you wear mine? I think that would be awesome. Absolutely. Hey, listen, thank you so much for uh, coming on the program tonight. Look forward to seeing you again soon, and uh, uh, best of luck to you and all the folks there at the gun store. Thank you, Cam. Always an honor to be on your show. Thanks really so much. It. Chris Irwin joining us from the uh, gun store in Las Vegas, Nevada, one of the very cool places in Las Vegas. And uh, Chris, uh, a, a great supporter of the Second Amendment. If you're, uh, if you're ever in Las Vegas, you want to, you know, go shoot a machine gun, I strongly recommend the uh, gun store. They have all kinds of stuff for you to shoot there, and it is a, a really, really fun place.